Hello, everyone. Hope you're all doing swell. We're finally out of the beginner section of this 30-day challenge. Uh, we've covered the setup, following the speed, popping off the wall, holding jump, arrow, and feathering boost. So everyone should be fairly comfortable now with air dribbling, or at least the idea, and be able to practice it a little bit. Um, we're going to be getting into uh, some more of the kind of, I guess we'd call it basic for the next few episodes. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Um, I do have a training pack. There's going to be a link down in the description below. That's what I'll be using today. And we're just going to be kind of reinforcing some of those fundamentals we learned uh, with a training pack that will hopefully challenge some of you, uh, if not all of you. Again, for the advanced players, feel free to make it harder on yourself. You know how to do that. I trust you. As long as you're pushing yourself and doing your best, you know, that's that's how you improve. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Um, obviously, first, we are going to warm up as we love to do. And feel free to warm up with me if you're into that sort of thing. So, yeah, we're going to be doing a little training pack. I haven't really ever made one before, so... I hope you guys like it. If you have any feedback, let me know in the comments because, I mean, it's my first one, so I can make changes to it and stuff like that, and uh, I'm not opposed to doing so. Kind of had fun making it. it. Took a lot longer than expected, but yeah. So uh, also, it's technically my birthday tomorrow, I think, which is kind of cool. This year went by so quick instead of the start of it. It's crazy. you all have been having fun learning these air dribbles with me. I think I think air dribbles are one of those mechanics that everyone wants to get better at and, you know, always wants to learn. So, I just kind of figured this would be the first one I do. I might do another series. Again, that depends on if you guys like it enough. But I just wanted to create a chill little playlist of working on mechanics. Um, yeah, yep. And I got inspired by watching um, how some of those yoga instructors kind of do their stuff. So just kind of running with that sort of general, relaxing, atmospheric, meditative sort of approach. Yeah. I haven't really seen anything like this on YouTube either, so. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty warm already. I normally recommend warming up longer than this, but I've also been on more today, so just today I'm not going to warm up quite as much as I normally do. So let's get into the training pack, shall we? So it's going to be this one here, the basic aerial training. The code's right there. I'll also put the code down in the comments um, and the description as well. Um, but the idea with this pack, I have I think I have random on. I can't remember. Um, yeah, I do have random on. So anyway, the idea with this is mostly getting your own setups done. That's why I have the ball just sitting here so you can practice controlling it, getting a touch towards the wall, and again, just reinforcing those fundamentals, making sure you're getting that pop, getting the, getting the goal. So that's kind of the idea. You can swap sides, of course, as they allow you to know. I think that's not a Bacchus mod thing. But yeah, so you're just going to be kind of reinforcing those fundamentals today. Making sure you get really good setups, good pops, feathering your boost to keep the ball up. Um, again, just a reminder, you don't have to be scoring these yet. You should be scoring a few of them, but if you can't yet, there's really no issue with that. Just keep on grinding, keep on doing your best all anyone can really do so I'm gonna make a little training pack for you guys to practice in your free time that way you can work on these fundamentals and uh, just kind of see the improvement for that see how each time it's gonna be a little different depending on how you touch the ball just remember to push through with the ball let your college momentum carry you don't go too fast Boost carry through you into the ball, into the goal. Not like that because I missed, but you know, you know what I mean. But each of these is going to be slightly different and slightly challenging. 
Uh, be sure to be practicing these from both sides, that way you're balanced in your ability to do it. And you can practice these at different speeds, obviously. You don't have to use air roll like I am. You want to make it harder for yourself. Something that I did early on was um, get a pop, turn around completely, and then practice like backwards. So I think that's a good thing to practice. And if you have any feedback on the training pack, definitely let me know. My first one. I never really made these before. I should probably start making these just in general for mechanics that I think I need to work on. You know? I think I think that'd be good. As you can tell, I kind of struggle with this wall here, so I'm kind of on the boat with you guys learning this. This wall's my um not my not my good wall. It's harder for me. Because I put off learning this side for I don't even know how long. For quite a while. Um The next training pack I'm working on is gonna be a little more complex than this. Might do that tomorrow, I don't really know. I've got a, a rough roadmap of how I want the series to go, but we'll kinda see how that changes over the days, you know? Yeah, these are just really basic, just working on making sure your setups are good. Is this each each one of these should be slightly different after your setup, because you're not gonna be getting the exact same setup every time. You wanna shoot for getting as good of a setup as you can every time, but not necessarily gonna be exactly the same. If you've watched any of my other videos, you will know that I I'm a believer in making your own setups because that's arguably the most important part. Here's a little bit different one. This one's just a little easy, kind of ground to air dribble sort of style here. I wanted to add one of these in because I think it's good to practice this as well. Just practice this however you want, really, just as long as you're practicing, following the speed of the ball, feather in your boost. You don't have to do anything fancy, you should be able to just kind of feather your boots and carry it without issue. Go for doubles and miss if you want. Sets anything you want, just as long as you're challenging yourself during this time. That's what we're looking for. It's a pretty chill um, training pack. Nothing too crazy in this one. The more tra uh, crazy training packs will definitely be coming in the future, but for now, I just kind of wanted to slowly get into these, you know? And, uh, I mean, you don't have to get 100% on this, just as long as just working on it you know don't be too hard on yourself because if you start getting hard on yourself and you start getting down because you can't get the shots every time it's gonna take away from your learning but i feel like if you're tilted or upset or just in a negative mind space your brain's gonna associate whatever you're doing as bad for you so i don't think you'll really be taking good away from it but i could be wrong Anyone else um, have any fun mechanics they're working on other than air dribbles right now? Personally, I've been working on trying to get my uh, Moxie flicks consistent. Those really fast ones that Moxie seems to be able to get. Um, I try not to work on too many mechanics uh, once though, because I think it slows down your learning a bit. So I'm just going to do in these dribbles for you guys, and then I have one or two things that I'm working on uh, on the side for just just for me, you know? And some game sense stuff. Really trying to push into GC and 1v1s this season. I 
this one, feel free to practice any weird angle that you want, just as long as you're feeling slightly uncomfortable as you're going for the air dribbles. Because you can hit it this way first, and then hit it back this way. I kind of like this shot personally, because these kind of tighter um, shots from here happen a lot, and they're kind of uncomfortable. In the next training pack that I'm doing, there's going to be even more uh, uncomfortable shots. I don't expect everyone to be able to hit them, of course, not first time or the second time, just something that's good to practice because some of these are things that I uh, kind of put off myself learning, and so they're just kind of awkward for me. So, I, I don't know, learn from my mistakes, I guess. Nothing really new today, just kind of reinforcing those basics that we learned and slowly getting into um, the next set of mechanics for the air dribble. I think tomorrow we might do a slightly harder training pack and then get into some different variances, maybe like ground to air dribbles, um, maybe different speeds of air dribbles, little things like that. Eventually, I think we'll kind of bring in double touches a little bit, maybe triple touches, flip resets, other things that you can put into the middle of your air dribbles. If you can chain together like flip resets into air dribbles, ceiling shots into air dribbles and just keep that control up, I think it's really, really hard to defend. You guys want also feel free to join my discord and, uh, post any of your clips from this little training progress in here or give me some good shots that you happen to get from it anything like that i always love to see other people's progress especially if i could have helped in some way you know really easy for me to just get lost in these training packs sometimes, just vibing out, listening to music. Remember to follow the speed of the ball well. Make sure your setups are good. If you're not getting your setups down at this point, I'd say definitely don't focus on completing the air dribble, just really focus on getting those first few touches that matter. Without a really solid setup, it's going to be harder for you to practice the air dribble as we continue in the series, and just it'll be harder for you later on when you want to go for more advanced types of air dribbles, so just make sure that setup's really solid.
and that's the that's the training pack. I don't know. Feel free to do this a few times. Feel free to do it more than the length of this video, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys to a little training session just so you get a little bit of training in for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed, but I think, I think I'm gonna be chilling now. I think that's it. I think I'm gonna get into some ranked, and I, I don't know. I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching. Peace.